Hi. I'm just going to show you really quickly what components only mode means in Builder. What it means is you can only use your own components in Builder. So this is useful if you're a developer, for instance, of a React app, and you want to give your marketing team the ability to make landing pages, but restrict them to using components you define in React. Um, if you're unfamiliar what this means, uh, you can go over to our GitHub, Builder.io slash Builder. There's links in the docs as well. And there's ways for you to use your React components inside a Builder, specify the props you're allowing them to set with the UIs, and then they can use them. So I have one that I use in my docs called um, CodeBlock. I'm going to drag this in. And it takes a text string as a prop, my function, and it automatically syntax highlights this. You can even change the language here. So I think I could change this to something like HTML or CSS, but JavaScript is what I made it as default. Um, yeah, and you can just assemble brand new pages using your React components. Got a cool one for signup form, um, got one for what else? I don't know, doesn't matter. You can make a whole bunch of components here. Um, this is different from the normal default mode where you have full kind of style freeform control. So what that means is, let's go to a tab, yeah. Default mode is you get this style tab and you can fully customize everything. But there's some cases where you want to stick to very strict style guidelines and only allow your team to pick from sort of a specific list of components and options uh, and not allow this kind of freeform editing. That's what components mode is good for. And set up your project, tag your React components, and let them drag and drop and publish pages. Um, pretty much as simple as that. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at steve at builder.io or chat me in the widget in the corner of the app. Thanks.